Okay, so this is going to be a valve adjustment on an 85 Toyota Sun Raider, same for the 85 Toyota pickup. This is a 22 RE. It's an 8 valve. And the tools you're going to need is a ratchet with a 19 millimeter to turn the pulley. Um, you're going to need two filler gauges, 0 0.012 for the exhaust and 0 0.007 for the intake. Another thing you're going to need is a box end 12 millimeter wrench and a flathead screwdriver. Just basic house tools. So start by putting the engine in top dead center by turning the main pulley bolt. On this particular engine, to know that it's in top dead center, it's easiest for me to line that dot up with the dot back here. That'll let you know that it's in top dead center. Let me adjust this really quick. Okay, we'll start with the intake on cylinder one, which is this one here. What you want to do is get your 007 feeler gauge in there. And what you're going to do is you're going to put the feeler gauge right between the valve and the lash here. See, right in there. That one feels good. You want to be able to move it, but you also want to feel a drag. So right now, feels pretty good to me. Also, one thing to note, before you start this, you want to run the engine for about five minutes to warm it up. So that one's good. Um... The other one you can check on the, for the intake is cylinder number two. That one can use some adjustment. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna crack this 12 millimeter bolt. And then with the flathead, you can adjust it, hold the feeler gauge and move it in and out until you feel a perfect drag on it. And once you feel a drag, you're gonna hold this Screwdriver straight, right where it was. And with the box end, tighten it up and hold the screwdriver. Do not let that screw move. And now you got drag, perfect. So for the intake, you can only do one and two right now until we turn the motor over because three and four is on the lobe. So just putting pressure on the valve so you can't adjust that one yet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move to the exhaust and you get, get your feeler gauge number 12 and we can start on one for the exhaust we'll start on number one and yeah these are these are very loose this engine sounded like a diesel I read somewhere that you got to do this every 30,000 miles I don't believe that but if you want to do that go ahead so we're gonna do is tighten this guy up Goes way out of spec. Just until you get some drag. And then tighten it back up. And now we go over to number three.
This is the same for pretty much every car that has adjustable valves. Maybe you just have to use the different tools, different sizes. You gotta look up what size you need, but for this truck, this is what we're doing. Perfect. Now the easiest way to jump to the other cylinders is by putting that same dot that was on the <clears throat> camshaft all the, just pretty much spin it 180 so put that point towards the bottom and you can see it right from up here on top of the head I'm new to YouTube, so I don't do editing because I don't know how. So bear with me. That's about 180 right there. And so now, on the intake, we can do four, I mean, uh, three and four with the 007 gauge. I bent mine to get it in there because the flat ones are hard to get in there. But that intake actually feels pretty good. And that one does too. So it looks like we were just having problems with the exhaust. And where did my number 12 go? Now we're going to do two and four on the exhaust, and that one's way out. Just do it slowly and careful because every little centimeter counts. Perfect. Now we'll try number four. Way out again. Right, so that's it for the 22R motor. They've all been adjusted. And you can put it back together and fire it up, let it warm up, and take it for a drive. Hopefully this helps somebody. Thanks.